In this Easy Ed video lecture, we are going to learn what are statements and statement blocks in C. Also, we will learn the selection type of control structure which includes if, if else and ladder if as well as switch case. Before understanding the control structures, we must understand some terminologies of C language. Let's start learning about statements first. Just like a normal English statement, a statement in C is a line which performs an action when a program is executed. Take for example the assignment statement. An assignment statement assigns a value to a variable. Every statement is terminated by a semicolon. Statements fall into following general types. Assignment statements, where values are stored in variables. Input-output statements, where data is written or printed out and control statements, through which program takes a decision about what to do next. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Let's study what are statement blocks then. In C, various statements can be grouped together into one block using curly brackets called as statement blocks. Sequence of statements can be made to function as syntactically equivalent single statement by enclosing them into braces. The statement blocks are useful in two ways. Firstly, multiple statements can be placed in the program where otherwise only single statement is allowed. They allow the programmer to introduce a new scope in the program. Every function has a function body which consists of set of one or more statements termed as statement block. Thus every function body including main is confined within a set of curly braces. Let's try to understand how the control flows from one statement to next statement while executing a program. This is called as a program flow. Controlling the flow of program is very important aspect of programming. A program consists of a number of statements which are executed sequentially, one after the other. But we can still develop powerful programs if the sequential order in which the program runs is changed. Control structures are thus added to a program to control the execution of program and also to alter the sequential flow. There are three types of control structures in C. Selection or branching statements, iteration or loop statements, special or control breaking statements. Moving on to selection or branching statements. Let's try to understand this with the help of an example. This man here is about to leave for his office. He has various options for traveling. He can walk to his office or he can take a bus or go by a cab. His decision to select a mode depends on how much money he desires to spend, how much time he has, brains and so on. Similarly in programs too, the flow is very much dependent on the desired output. This is termed as conditional execution. A conditional execution in which only one group of statements is selected over others is known as selection. A selection is made using if, if else, else if ladder, switch case in C. These statements are thus called as conditional branching statements. There are other control structures like break, continue and go to which are unconditional branching statements. Iterations or loops form the third type of control structures. They include for, while, do while statements. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Next what we need to learn is how to write a test condition. A test condition used for selection and iteration is termed as test expression. If the condition evaluates to be true, then it is given the value 1, else 0. If a numeric condition forms the condition, then any non-zero value is considered as true while a zero value is considered as false. The general syntax is the operands can be a variable or an condition or a constant value while the operator used is usually a relational operator. Complex conditions use logical operators to connect more than one test condition. Let's take an example x equals 1, y equals 2, z equals 3. The expression x greater than equal to y evaluates to 0, that is false, as 1 is not greater than 2. The expression x plus y evaluates to 3, as 1 plus 2 is 3, and so it evaluates to a non-zero value, 
Therefore, the result is true. Moving on to the first flow control statement if. If statement handles one-way decisions and determines whether to do something based on the condition. This is the general form. Here in the flowchart, if the test condition evaluates to be true, then the corresponding block are executed, else the control goes to the next executable statement, which is statement X. Let's study this with an example. As we know, only people above the age of 18 are allowed to drive. Let's write a program which checks whether a person should be allowed to driving or not. We will start by declaring the main function, followed by variable age. The program will ask every person to enter their age. We need to use if statement here. Then we add the test condition. We need to check if the person's age is above 18 or not. If yes, we will print that the person should be given a driving license. Finally, we end the program by adding the getCH function. Next control structure we will be studying is if else. If else statements handle two-way decisions which either do a particular thing or do something else. This is the general form. Here if the test condition is true then block 1 will be executed and if the test condition is false block 2 is executed. Let us see the flowchart now. Here the test condition is evaluated if it is true then the corresponding block are executed else the statement in the else section are executed. Let's try to understand this taking the same age example. What happens if the person is under age? Then the person's present age is noted and he is asked to apply only after he turns 18. So let's write a program which checks whether a person should be given a driving license or no. We will start by declaring the main function followed by the variable age. The program will ask every person to enter their age. We need to use if statement here. Then we add the test condition which checks if the person's age is above 18 or not. If yes, we will print that the person should be given a driving license. Else the person's current age is noted and he is asked to apply for the license after he turns 18. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Next topic to study is the nesting of if else. When an if statement is written under another if statement, this structure is called as nested if. Have a look at the general form. When a series of decisions are involved, we may have to use more than one if else statements in the nested form. If the condition 1 is false, the block 3 will be executed. Otherwise, it continues to perform the second test. If the condition 2 is true, the block 1 will be executed. Otherwise, the block 2 will be executed and then the control is transferred to the statement X. Let's try to understand this taking the same age example. A person's age is considered a valid entry only if it is positive else the user has to enter the age again. So let's modify the program accordingly. We will start by declaring the main function followed by the variable age. The program will ask every person to enter their age. We need to use if statement here. Then we add the test condition. It checks if the person's age is a valid entry or no. If yes, then again we check if the person's age is above 18 or not. If yes, we will print that the person should be given a driving license. Else the person's current age is noted and he is asked to apply for the license after he turns 18. If the person's age is not positive, then the user should be prompted. What's the dangling else problem then? This problem occurs when there is no matching else for each if. In order to avoid this problem, always pair an else to the most recent unpaired if. Here if test condition A is evaluated as true, then execution moves on to test condition B. If test condition B is evaluated as true, then block B is executed else block C is executed. In the above code, else is automatically paired with the closest if. But in reality, programmer's logic had else associated with the outermost if. This can be done by either adding a null if or by using braces to enclose the true action of second if. If we add a null else here with no statements, then it would be associated with the inner if. And so the last else would then be associated with the outer if. Using braces would also serve programmer's purpose. 
Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Next control structure is else if ladder. Else if is used to handle multi-way decision. They are used to evaluate test conditions which can have multiple possible values. This is done using else if ladder. Looking at the general form, we see understand that else if ladder is a chain of if in which the statement associated with each else is an if. The conditions are evaluated from the top of the ladder to down. As soon as a true condition is found, the block associated with it is executed and the control is transferred to the statement X, skipping the rest of the ladder. When all the end conditions become false, then the final else containing the default statement will be executed. Let's take this simple example. User is asked to input a number between 1 to 4. Depending on the user's input, corresponding color is displayed. Let's try to program this. We design a main function within which the logic for color selection would be placed. Ask the user to enter a number between 1 and 4 using printf statement and accept the user's input. Using else if the user input is evaluated and matched with the corresponding color. If user enters 1, the display is red as selected color. Else if he enters 2, then the display blue as the color. Else if he enters 3, then display green as the color. Else if 4, then display black. If the user enters any number except 1 to 4, then display it as an invalid entry. We end the program by adding getCH function. Let's study the last conditional control structure called as the switch case. When there are a number of alternatives as a switch statement is used, a switch statement also handles multi-way decisions. A switch statement reduces the effort of writing a number of if statements. This is the general format. The condition is evaluated to get a value and the value is matched to each of the case constants. The switch statement can include any number of case instances, but no two case constants within the same switch statement can have the same value. Control passes to the statement whose case constant matches the value of switch condition. Execution of the block begins at the selected statement and proceeds until the end of that block or until a break statement is encountered which transfers control out of the body. Let's take this simple example. User is asked to input a number between 1 to 4. Depending on the user's input, corresponding color is displayed. Let's try to program this. Let's design a main function within which the logic for color selection would be placed. Ask the user to enter a number between 1 to 4 using printf statement and accept the user's input. The statement switch color is evaluated. The value of color is used to compare each case constants. Case 1 is used to match if user enters 1 then display red as selected color. Case 2 matches if he enters 2 and green is printed as the color. Case 3 is executed when he enters 3, display blue as the color. Case 4 is executed when he enters 4, display black. If the user enters any number except for 1 to 4, then display it as an invalid entry. Break keyword is added at the end of each case block. It is used to break the structure and jump out of switch block so that the execution does not continue with the switch block. Lastly, we end the program by typing get ch. Let's have a quick review of what we've studied in this lecture. We studied with learning statements first. A statement is a line in a C program which performs an action when a program is executed. Various statements can be grouped together into one block using curly brackets. This is termed as statement blocks. Next, we learned program flow which means the order in which the operations of a program are executed. Moving on to control structures. There are three types of control structures in C, namely selection or branching statements, iteration or loop statements, lastly special or control breaking structures. A conditional execution in which only one group of statements is selected over the other is known as selection. Repetitive execution of certain statements is termed as iteration or looping. Let's go through the entire classification. We have also learned how to specify the test condition and way of writing a test condition. 
Next, we moved on to learning if statement. If statements handle one-way decisions and determines to do something or not to do anything. Moving on to if-else statements. If-else statements handle two-way decisions which either do a particular thing or do something else. Next is nested if. When an if statement is written under another if statement, this structure is called as nested if. What's dangling if problem then? This problem occurs when there is no matching else for each if. In order to avoid this problem, always pair an else to the most recent unpaired if. Moving on to else if. Else if is used to handle multi-way decision. They are used to evaluate test conditions which can have multiple possible values. Lastly, we studied where there are a number of alternatives, a switch statement is used.